This video is going to be a little different. Instead of me just putting music over the video like usual, I wanted to add some kind of commentary explaining what I'm doing. Also, thank you to everyone who's been commenting and liking my videos. Those little things that take two seconds mean a lot. If you want to see more videos like this one, make sure to tell me in the comments. Anyways, that's it for now, and enjoy the video. So I started by putting some photos and cutting them out to get a feel for the composition. After that's done, I started matching the colors and saturation between the two images to make them look together. Every time I start a new project, I always scale and rotate all my images that I'm going to be using at the beginning to really understand how I'm going to make my original thought. Composition is a big key in photo manipulation. If you want it to look cool, you're going to have to worry about your composition. Everywhere you place something is going to matter. In this video, you'll see me make a lot of last minute changes and that's because my original idea for the cave was to be closed off, but you can see I changed my mind later in the video. The rock image is a great example of that, and you can see me move it around a lot because I know I wanted it, but I didn't know where. After a bit of rotating and scaling to the rock images, I decided I didn't want this to be closed off. One, because it would have taken a lot more time, and two, I was starting to feel lazy. Oh, and I also felt like this would be quicker. I was wrong. Soon I realized that since I changed the background, that meant more color correction. After the boring stuff was over, it was time to add the fun stuff. Crystals, making them glow, adding human saturation masks on the rock layers to match the glow. Now that I say it out loud, it doesn't sound that fun. But trust me, compared to cutting out rocks for an hour, it's fun. Anyways, I'm done talking for now, enjoy the rest of the video.
This turned out a lot better than I thought. As you can see, the camera filter made it a hundred times better. I kept going back and forth on whether or not I wanted to retain the same colors I made them to be, but I decided to change them. It made the piece look more fantasy-like, and that's what I was going for. If you like this piece and you want to make your wallpaper, you now can. By going to my website and downloading the desired one, I will be updating it as I make more, but not all pieces will be available. If you like this kind of video and want to see more like it, then tell me in the comments. But anyways, that's it, and thanks for watching.